house by the sea. Why can't I not move? Oh, because it's going to be a cutscene. Of course. Land ho! And about time, if you ask me. Let's get moving. <gasps> Look! Someone's collapsed on the floor! Pretty sure I don't have any. Would a croissant do? Ah, oh, that is much better. You are a kind stranger. Nah, don't mention it. If I may ask, who are you? Ah, oh, but we have neglected to introduce ourselves. You have the honor of meeting Yoko, Princess of Unohoya. Land of Hot Springs. Princess? What's a princess doing in a place like this? Some days ago, our Anisama, our dear brother, set off on a journey. Though he promised to return shortly, we have seen neither hide nor hair of him since. We simply could not bear it any longer. So, you left in search of your brother? Correct. We had just come to these parts, when a giant castle emerged from the clouds. We knew not what it was, but it frightened us. And so we sought shelter here. A castle in the clouds? That must be the Skyhold. You are familiar with this Skyhold? We've chased it here from halfway across the world. Did you see where it went? We believe it was heading north, toward Mount Karka. All right. Let's go, everyone. Oh, but wait. What about Yoko? We can't just leave her here. You are travelers, yes? We would join you on your journey. Traveling with you, we just might find our Anisama. Surely you would not leave us alone in this dreadful place with no food to fill our delicate tummy. We humbly request your aid. We shall not slow you down, so please do not make us beg. That's a tough one. You might be in more danger with us than on your own. <sighs> but we insist. Please, you. Pretty please. Um, sir, what do you say? I don't have the heart to leave her here. It shouldn't hurt to take her along, right? Just until she finds her brother? Yeah. Leaving her to fend for herself will be too cruel. If we run into any monsters or Imperials, we'll just have to protect her ourselves. Right. I guess we can do that. Welcome aboard, Yoko. Don't worry about a thing. We've got your back. We are most indebted to you for your kindness. Pray, lead the way. Alright, so uh, I was eating for a little bit. Uh, we just had Yoko join our group. I don't know if she's a playable character or not. I don't think so. I think she's just in our party. Going out yep, in search of talking. your brother all by yourself is quite impressive, Yoko. Why, yes. Yes, it is. If we do say so ourselves. You have our permission to praise us further. It's impressive, all right, but... Aren't your parents worried about you? <sighs> we are not a child. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Hmm? That's not how it sounded when you were asking us to take you along. Uh, well, that, that, was, that was merely an excuse. How little you understand us. The four of you looked so lonesome and helpless traveling by yourselves. We deigned to find a way to accompany you. 
<laughs> I guess you got us then. Oh well, the more the merrier, I say. Don't worry, Yoko. You don't have to hide your fears for our sake. Did you not hear a word we said? It, it was merely an act, a means to an end. You have angered your princess, you. Take this as your punishment. Ow! Wait, why me? Hm. Do not question your princess. Reflect well on your actions should you wish to gain our favor once more. Ah, that's weird. All right, let's see how these guys fare against us. Not very well. Dead. Dead. I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, so um, we were eating, so we didn't answer a lot of questions. No. I gave. Uh, we did. We have hamburger helper today, and thank you, Eric. We are doing okay. How are you doing? And yeah, we'll definitely pray for your dad, bud. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the spooky castle. Um, I might play Overwatch on my channel. I don't know. Why are you Why is, are you nudging me? Is Kaming I, I don't know. ever gonna play it with me? I I don't know. I guess that depends if Kaming is ever planning on playing it with me. I don't know. I have no idea. Apparently, it all hinges on Kaming. What? What were you gonna call me? <laughs> and he has no idea what he's gonna do. Maybe I'll have to play it on my channel because apparently this guy doesn't want to play. Um. Luke, will there ever be a... Oh, wait. I'll have to get is your this, questions. Is this so. where we're supposed to go? Right here? Uncharted's gonna come back, like, the first chapter or the first uh, game in August. Although it won't be every day because... I don't know. I just... Uh, I have so much that I have to do. K-Wing, will you ever get to the end of Twilight Princess? September. Cutscene! Man, that's odd. I could have sworn I had more croissants in my bag. Don't look at me. Hmm? Well, well, we'll come off either. Hmm. Is it just me, or do her cheeks look a bit puffy? Come now, Yoko. There's no point in lying. You should apologize to you. Mm. Uh, our apologies, you... After going so long without food, our stomach was again rumbling and... <sighs> oh, don't worry about it. There's plenty for everyone. Just ask next time, okay? What a gracious and gentle soul you are. Your princess is quite taken with you. We would name you, Jenny Olja, our Minister of the Right. Minister of the Right? Well, uh... Thanks, I think. You are not content with your post. Well, the only greater honor will be to take you as our prince consort. Oh! Your husband? But we've, we've only just met. Uh... If you are not opposed to the arrangement, then neither are we. We would much rather marry a fine young man of our choosing than some fusty old lord chosen for us by our dear father. Quite popular with the ladies, aren't we, you? C come on, Edia. I'm not good at this sort of thing. Looks to me like you're enjoying the attention. It's not very gentlemanly to lead a lady along. Perhaps you should tell her the truth, hmm? Uh, Magnolia's scaring me. What should I do, sir? Now, now, everyone, let's cut you some slack. He can't help being a bit of a blockhead sometimes. You know. All right, keep it moving, people. Poor you. It's kind of dumb. Eisenbridge. 
We made it! Yeah, I forgot whose uh, dress that was. That's Magnolia's dress. Yeah, her dress is Magnolia pretty... Red Mage. Her... That's not her default. Her wow, red dress is awesome. And Idia, it's been some time. That it has, Commander Goodman. Tis, we had heard grave news about you. It heartens me to see you well. Thank you, Commander. The feeling's mutual. This man is a friend of yours? Ah, uh, forgive me for not properly introducing myself. I am Daniel Goodman, Commander of the Eisenberg Army. An honor to meet you, Commander Goodman. I am Eugenie Olja, a Knight of the Crystal Guard. Oh, the young lord of House Genioja. Commander Goodman was a great friend and ally to us on our journey. We'd have been lost without him. It is I who should be saying those words to you. Why, not only did you help us resolve a bitter civil war, you even saved my own marriage. I know this entire nation is in your debt. Oh, shucks, it was nothing, really. But I can't help but notice, are you fighting another war? I fear so. The Empire has struck swiftly and with great force. It's been all we can do to stay their advance. The Empire has struck here too? With how many men? That's the thing. It's just... Commander! Incoming! Blast! Here she comes! She? Babies, show me what you got. What, you just gonna hole up in your shells like freaking turtles? Come on, fight like men. I'll not have my manhood insulted by this wench. I'm going in. Halt, the commander ordered us not to move an inch. Then what good are we doing sitting here? Come on, men, follow me! For Eisenberg! I guess you should have listened to your commander, huh? Once I got you in my sights, boom, it's game over. Now come on, who else has got a death wish? Oh, what a positively dreadful woman. Aye, she's a fierce one, all right. I've seen many a sharpshooter in my day, but her lethal accuracy is second to none. Single-handedly, she's held my entire army at bay. But crossing this bridge is the only way for us to get to the Skyhold. All right, everyone. Let's go. Right. We can do this. You stay here, Yoko. It's too dangerous for you. Yes, we shall rally you to victory from here. Be strong. Be strong, our friends. Okay. Huh. Well, if it ain't you, Googly Moogly, and his three yutzes. How'd you like my little love tap from before, huh? Just my way of saying hi. Love tap? Oh, for crying... Do I have to spell it out for you? The bullet that smacked you in the arm. Hot from Eisenberg to Anshan, just for you. You shot that all the way from here? You're finally getting it, aren't you? And now you're gonna get it, if you know what I mean. That's right, you got no shot against me. My darling told me as much, and my darling never lies. What's that? You wanna hear more about my darling before I ventilate you? Well, my darling's just the handsomest, the smartest, and the sweetest darling there ever was. Actually, we don't really need to... Once I've filled you full of holes, he's gonna bake me a batch of his famous pancakes. So hot and fluffy and syrupy and... Oh, I'm weeping just thinking about it. But before that, let me murder ya. Who wants to bite it first? This doesn't look good. But too soon! I think so. Thank you, Magnolia. Well, now, look at these two all lovey-dovey. Lovey? 
no, no, you, you've got it all. Oh, 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 ain't you just the cutest? Friend or foe, there's nothing like seeing two sweethearts in love. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, but maybe you're wondering what happened to that bullet you dodged. Say so long to one of your friends. We're no match for her. Retreat, everyone. Hang in there, Commander Goodman. The wound is deep. He needs treatment at once. Heart's child is just to the west. Let's carry him there. So much dialogue. I can't believe Commander Goodman, like, got shot so quickly. Alright, so we have to go all the way over here now. <laughs> I missed some of the cutscenes. Just gotta pay attention. I know! Alright, let's see Simon, if I can take these down. Simon says, hurry up you and pick a girl and get it over with. I know, right? I know. <laughs> this guy's just so strong. I love it. As soon as I get to a new town, I can buy weapons and armor, because I need those. Let's see, so Commander Goodman just got shot, uh, Magnolia just saved you, and we're going to this town. Mm. And another cutscene. Hearts Child, capital of Eisenberg. Yep, cutscene. So, this is Hearts Child. It's already sundown. Hmm. It's awfully lively for this hour, don't you think? Is it not usually? Maybe people are enjoying themselves more now that the war is over. In any case, we need to hurry to Eleanor's. Eleanor? Commander Goodman's wife. They're both such kind people. They really took care of us last time we were here in Eisenberg. They sure did. And they're a real pair of swans, those two. Swans? Right. Swans are a waterfowl we have here in Luxendark. They're known for forming lifelong breeding pairs, so we often use them to describe a deeply devoted husband and wife. A pair of swans. How romantic. They would be swans. A wonderful explanation, sir. In reality, however, swans aren't so new. And that's enough from Tis and Use Birds of Luxembourg. Commander Goodman, remember? Uh, right, let's go. I don't even see him. I see Yoko. Can, can we, like, buy new armor and weapons first before we take uh, the commander in? No. Uh, fine. Disney Superfan says, my mom made homemade breakfast and it is so yummy. Tasty. When do you guys usually stream? Cutscene. Okay. Mrs. Goodman. If it isn't Tiz and Idia, how have you been, my dears? It's great to see you again, Eleanor. Tiz and I are fine, thank you, but... It's your husband. He's been wounded. Heavens! Here, bring him this way. Playing happy music, he might live. Is Commander Goodman going to be all right? He will be now, thanks to you. The doctor says you saved his life by bringing him back here so soon. With some bed rest, he should be fine. Yay! Now that's a relief. By the way, I know this isn't the best time to ask, but... Is something going on in Hearts Child? The town seems... Different, somehow. 
Why, it certainly should. It's Heart's Fest season. A time for revelry that comes but once a year. At first, City Hall planned to cancel the festivities. What with the Imperial attack and all. But someone convinced them that the people needed something to lift their spirits. Now more than ever. Why, this generous fellow even offered to fund almost the entire festival. A festival? That does sound like fun. Yes, they've set up stalls all over town, with food and games and everything. But the real star this year is none other than the traveling confectioner who's sponsoring the event. They say his pastries are so heavenly that they can heal the wounds and hearts of our weary soldiers. Now that you mention it, I think I heard people around town talking about cake. With that sort of reputation, his sweets must be something else indeed. Well then, why don't you go and have a taste for yourselves? To tell the truth, I had one of his cupcakes just before, and I can tell you this, you won't be disappointed. Did you hear that? Let's go! Right behind you! And they're off again. I'll let them have their fun. We've been fighting almost non-stop to get here. We could all use a little break. We are in complete agreement. Minister, your princess requires an escort to the festivities. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. All right, let's see what this festival's all about. 